Hey guys, this is Dr. Nick here. So today we're going to follow up with our previous videos on the sense of Imago and today's video is the 5C which we're going to be looking at the base catalog. Our previous video we looked specifically at the express monitoring category and the specific subgroups within that. We went into much more detail at that point. So today we're going to focus within the base catalog on one specific group which is the microbial biocenosis. So I'm going to explain in this video what that means and what we're looking for and what the coefficients mean in order to understand how we use it in our future analysis and understanding of what we do in terms of treatments going forward. So I hope you enjoy and thanks for watching. Hi guys, this is Dr. Nick here again. And again, we're going to go through the base catalog this time within the sensitive micro program after our scan in order to analyze things. We went through originally the express monitoring and it's a similar process going through the rest, but these are the basic um, six other base catalog segments that we're going to look through in order to kind of figure out what's going on. But I'm going to focus this time only on the microbial biocenosis, which is more of the microbial burden. So we click on this button again on this group, and then through that showcases um, what might be burdening the system. So in this case, as we stated before, anything below 5.5 .5 is something we have to look into. Anything below a 0.285 within the microbial biocenosis is something that might be an active form creating stress on the system. So in this case, this person does not have any stress in their bones, in a sense, right? Because we're looking right now at the skeletal and bone and joint systems. So, but if they did, if it was this was below 0.25, what we can do is we can also see where possibly streptococcus pyogenes is in the body if it's not just in the bone. So when we click this button, and it would showcase anywhere else it would be. We did a very minor scan here, so there's not a lot of organs available. However, it showcases that it, it's in all these areas. So what we do with these uh, microbial burdens, in a sense, each specific organ or segment or even within the base catalog has a top kind of priority, maybe microbes that would harbor that area, and then it figures out if there's any stresses from those on those systems. So that's that one system. So we'll check quickly the chest organs, see if there's anything there. So we'll do the microbial biosynosis. Again, nothing specific there. So we stress the system. Second thing we do here, we do see here is candida labrata. So we're going to check that, see if there's anywhere else. And then, as you can see here, it's red. <clears throat> so what does that mean? So it's still not an active infection or an active process, but it's still it's getting close to that because it's now in the red and it's below 0.4. So it's in this inactive form. However, we have to be mindful of it, especially from the in the case of candida. And we see that it's stressing more of the duodenum wall tissue and the pancreatic wall tissue. So we have to be mindful of that overall. And then we can go to the next ones again and check different ones to see where they're at in terms of microbial burdens. Same thing again. We have candida as our one, but nothing, nothing high priority here. Even when we stress the system, nothing comes up in that regard, too. So we'll go down to the abdomen. We'll see if anything shows up here at the same time. In this case, nothing directly. But when we put stress now, we see that something comes to the top of the forefront. So the oops, thomhis filinius. So we can, if we're unsure what that means or what it is, click on this, and that will show us the description of what it is. And it shows that it's some kind of a uh, fluke. Worm. So like a liver fluke possibly that is stressing it. So that makes sense. We can kind of now close that. We can go here to the and see if there's any other stress on the system from it. We don't see anything that's active. So we don't pay too much attention at this moment about it unless we think there's something really happening in that area. And then based on that, we go through all the same kind of procedures as we did with express monitoring. And then if we have, after our conclusions up here, with these different segments would focus on the different areas. So in this case, we focus maybe because we saw something in terms of candida and duodenum wall. We go into here in terms of analyzing it. And we go through the steps to see if anything comes up that might be stressing the system, that might give us more information of what's going on. And again, we check the microbial burden. As we see, we see candida come up there. And then in this case, when we stress the system, we see that the ophthalmus filinius that one goes to a more active form and we stress the system. So the liver fluke or uh, they can be more 
aggravating to the system overall at that point. So we take away that, and we see that only the candida is in this inactive form at this point. And then what we can do is, as we're going through all the different stages, we go through all the different groups, come back to the top, which is a sequence of healings. And in this case, it says a different um, top three priorities versus previously, and we looked at express monitoring. But that's the whole point. We look at all these different kind of organs uh, in, in tissues and organ systems, and then we come to our own conclusion after we look at what the the information we're getting from the sensor MIGO is telling us so we can kind of have a proper treatment plan going forward. So I hope that was helpful in terms of getting a basic understanding of what's going on. And I'll try to go into a little bit more detail later on some interesting parts of the scan and what we can look into. And then I'll talk about also how we can make different um, spectronosodes that can help neutralize even the microbial burden on our system. So I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching.